Hi everyone, it's Miss Rossi. Today we're going to finish our Romero Brito inspired pets. What you'll be needing today is your pet drawing from last week, so you should have picked either a dog or a cat, drawn it on your paper, and filled it in with all of our different kinds of patterns and designs that we could think of based on our artist's work. We should have also went in and traced just our pet and the outlines of our sections, those straight lines that we use to split up the background, and some parts of our pet to create spaces to include more patterns and designs. We're also going to need an eraser, something to trace our drawing with. I have all different colored markers here and something to color in with. I have some crayons that I'm going to use to color my picture in, but you can always use colored pencils or anything else you have at home to add color. I'm going to put my crayons to the side for right now and start with my markers. With my markers, I'm just going to go in and trace over all of my designs and patterns that I created. Now, the only color I do not want to use today is black because we did trace our pet and we traced those background lines with black, but I can use any other colors that I have here to trace and fill in my designs. Now, as I am tracing with my markers, I am just going to carefully go on top of all of my pencil lines. You might only have lines to create your patterns and your designs. So like this one, I just have these pencil lines creating that little V shape to make up my design. So once I trace over it, it is mostly done. I'll just end up coloring in the background of that section later on with my crayons. But now in other sections, like this larger background section, maybe I want to turn this into a more interesting pattern instead of it just being these wavy lines by alternating different colors that I'm using to trace. So maybe I wanna use some dark blue and light blue as I am tracing and to repeat these colors to also create a pattern within what I already drew. So maybe I wanna alternate from my dark blue to my light blue and back and forth to create a pattern with my colors to go along with the design that I have with my lines. So you can decide as you are going through your picture what areas you want to trace over in just one color and what areas you think would look best if you went in with multiple colors to trace over that section. You might also have other areas like I have up here where I had a flower pattern. So maybe that one is going to be traced differently where I wanna trace the flowers a different color than I want to trace my leaves. Maybe I want to have a bunch of different colored flowers in there, so maybe I want to trace all of my flowers with different colored markers. It's totally up to you how you want to trace and color in your designs. So try and think about each section of your picture and what is going to look best for that section to help make your design more exciting and interesting. Again, you can pick whatever colors you would like as you are doing this. Yours does not have to look like mine. It is totally up to you. Now I have these small little triangles that I am tracing right now and I'm just going to fill those in with my marker as well, just because once I am tracing it, it is mostly filling in that shape already with the rest of my marker color. So then I don't have to color it in later on with my crayons. So I'm just going to go in, trace all of my pencil lines with my markers and then see what I have left to color in. After I finished tracing over all of my designs with my markers, I went in with my eraser and I erased any of those pencil lines that I can still see. Now it's time to start coloring. I'm going to use my crayons to color in my designs because they are nice and small to get in all of those small little details. But while I'm coloring, I'm going to do the same thing that I did before, where in certain areas, if I want to alternate two colors to help make my pattern look more exciting, I'm going to do that. And in other areas, I might just do one color to fill in the background. So maybe in this first section of my dog's ear, since I already have that design with the purple marker there, I can just color right over the top to fill in the background to finish off that area. But maybe in this larger section, I would alternate two of my blues to match the same design that I had with my stripes as I was tracing. So maybe I'm going to color in different sections where I have 
a dark blue area and a light blue area that are alternating to create a pattern with my colors. And as you're coloring, you do not need to color in your sections the same colors that you outlined them. You can always mix it up and color things in so they are different than the way you outlined them. So maybe while I'm coloring in my flowers, I might not color all of those flowers in to be pink. Maybe I want some of them to be yellow or other colors, and that is okay. As we're coloring, we just want to make sure that we are coloring in nice and neatly. We want to stay inside the lines as best as we can. And we want to color in each section so it is fully bright and colorful, just like our artist's paintings. We do not want to leave any little white spaces today. We want to make sure everything gets fully colored in. And once you're done coloring in all of your background decorations, you can color in the face of your pet whatever color you would like. So I'm just going to go in and color in all of my designs here with my crayons, and then I will be finished. And there you go, that is my Romero Brito inspired dog all finished. Once you're done with your project, you can upload a photo or video of it on my canvas page. I can't wait to see all the different colorful designs you guys have created. Try your best, have fun, and get creative, and I'll see you soon. Bye!